hi guys welcome back to mama SOG vlog how are you guys doing if you are new here you are welcome and if you are the donor subscriber god bless you as you always come back to watch my video my people know be so much you know today video my people will wash hands together with her all right my people will go watch the video to see what really they happen for inside the video my people for that really so and when po nigeria police arrive already they saw the people death already they saw all the disaster that's going on so now i want to ask you how is possible that our yoruba national people they coming out and start to cause problems for which reason for which reason when we are coming out media that our people problem so i don't understand and to the end of that news they say that in Nigeria law, our people or other people to come all together and make a protest. So that one, that means that you doesn't live in, in democracy, but you are living in a, a dictator. So you have a dictator, you doesn't have a, a political president that he have democracy in nigeria there is no democracy in nigeria my people they just lie lie too much okay now they say that when they arrive to the rally they saw already the all oh, the problem that our people they are caused how you know that our yoruba nation agitators how they call it they are the one that they cause the problem if you wasn't there before how you can testify something like that and we are talking about a policeman officer eh? that he come a lie on nigeria media can you imagine my people so they say that our people they stop the traffic where did you see that our people stop the traffic when we have our brothers that they take care of the traffic to let car pass let me understand. They shoot our Yoruba agitators, the way that they call them. But why you don't shoot cows when cows block the traffic? Why you don't shoot terror all over Yoruba land? Why you don't come and uh, Fulani headmen when they come and take all over all over Yoruba land? Let me understand. So it's more easy for them to shoot on people than to shoot cows. This is the kind of country where you live. In Nigeria, there is not human right. In Nigeria, there is not freedom. Why you have to blame our young people that they are coming now to fight for the future? Why you have to shoot on innocent people that they are coming out for peaceful rally? They are not terrorists. They are not, uh, uh, I don't know how you want to call it, call it. They are not criminals. But you shoot on innocent people. For which reason? Just because they don't want Yoruba nation to stand. Because they know that we, that we stand for Yoruba nation, we are talking with the truth. And they know that we show to everybody the bad side of Nigeria. Because there is nothing good that coming out from Nigeria. Tell me just one thing that is good in Nigeria. Just one. I cannot see nothing you know. I cannot see nothing good in Nigeria. It's a fake country. It's fake people, fake country everywhere. They like too much, they love lie, corruption. And you think that we are fighting for Yoruba nation for nothing? We are fighting for Yoruba nation because we want human rights. We want security. We want to be safe in our home. So why Nigeria government cannot understand that? We don't cause problem. You are the one that you cause problem. 
because you never has done nothing in Nigeria. Never. You never give freedom to your people. You never stand up and do something good for your people, for your land. You never, Nigeria government, hey, hey, you are the one to cause problem in your land and now you say, uh, you abuse our Yoruba people because they are coming out for security. Innocent people. Because they are coming out, because they are tired of the situation in Nigeria. So now what you do to resolve the problem, kill them all. You want to resolve the problem, kill them all. It's very easy to give order to your soldier, to your police. It's very easy. Oh. What about you? You don't know that you live in Nigeria as well. You don't know that you have mothers, that you have aunties, that you have sisters, that you have your family there too. You, this your brain is not working, Abby. Police officer, soldier, everybody that you work for Nigeria government, you doesn't have your own brain to think about it. If I go and kill this somebody's son, if tomorrow happen to you, what you want to do? You kill somebody's daughter, how you go and sleep in the night well? Innocent people you're going to kill. But you, are, you never can catch a terrorist. You never can catch a bandit. You never can catch thief. Eh? Kill or death. What is wrong with Nigeria government? Are you saying that Nigeria is work for who? Where? For who? It's not working for Yoruba people at all. I'm telling you. It's not working. What, which kind of system did you have in Nigeria that worked for people? Hospital is not there. School is not there. The school that they have, just uh, for the people that they have money to send their children, is that a system? Hospital, that people die just for have a fever. Huh? Just for have fever. Hospital where you enter, they want money before they, 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 they can do something for you. That is the kind of country that you want. The kind of system that these people want to give it to you. So they, they won't come out, come out and say, I want to become president of Nigeria. For what? For what? We, which one is the reason that you want to become a president of Nigeria? Let me understand. Huh? Just because of, of money or the position that they are giving to you. And then see your country. See your people living in poverty. Europe Without Africa, they are nothing. But every day, every day, every time they show us that Nigeria is poor, that there is not the rich there, there is no richness. See Europe without Africa, they will. And everybody, they are hiding, hiding the richness of, of Africa. But my people, there is the day that the truth will come out. There is the day that the truth come out. At that day, I will laugh. That day, I will laugh. On every day, they ah, they know. Yeah, for now, we have to wait for election. Why you have to wait for election? Why you, you cannot stand today and do something for your country? Because they are not free, my people. Because when, when you are free, you don't count for your right. You will stand for your people you will stand for your land and do something now not tomorrow not tomorrow but today 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 we are lost our children our yoruba children you think for not eh? you think that we are mumu the one that we follow yoruba nation we want a better future we want security we want peace in our land and Nigeria government won't stop us to have that freedom. Nigeria government won't stop us to have security in Yoruba land. Why? This is my question today for Nigeria government. If maybe somebody is there, I don't know, you can answer me. You can tell me why Nigeria is not working. Why in Nigeria there is nobody, no one, 
that is able to fix it. Yoruba nation, we want to be divided from, from Nigeria because we know that nothing, nothing good can come from foreigners. Because Nigeria is a fake country created from foreigners. Create for British people. We are not British, we are Yoruba. Can you leave us decide in our own land what we want? Or we need to wait for European people to tell us what to do? Let me understand. We are not anymore in the time of slavery. So we can't decide for ourselves. Yoruba people can decide for Yoruba land. Biafra people can decide for Biafra land because you are not stupid. You are very smart, you are very, uh, very educated, you are able to fix, to fix your country. And you still leave somebody to be upon you and decide for you and give the other. In a, my people, me, I don't understand though. So you are Africa and Europe have to decide for Africa? No, let me understand. Let me understand. Now they say that every African president, they want to come together, unite, for fight for Africa. I hope that you will do it so. I hope, I really hope that you will do it so. To stand for your continent, Africa. I really hope so. Because Nigeria is not working. At all, at all, at all. No security, no human rights, no freedom, no independence. So we have a president, Buhari, that he is Muslim. And every single people that work for him are Muslim. I don't have nothing with Muslim, okay? Because now people say, ah, you have something with Muslim. I don't have nothing at all. I have something with corrupted people that they come in now to say that they are Muslim, they are Christian, they are this, they are that. But to the end, they are corrupted. So don't put your religion to cover your mistakes. Don't put your religion to cover your criminality. Don't put your religion first. To cover all the corruption things that they are doing in Nigeria government. Don't cover it with religion. What we want in our land is to have freedom. That's all. If you are not able to kill cows, you have, you have to understand that you cannot kill human beings like animals. You cannot respect animals more than human beings. That is not a country. That is jungle. When you enter inside the jungle, there is no law. And the same thing is the same things is when you enter Nigeria. When you enter Nigeria, you are where you don't know even if you come safe back from that country. We, are, we know what we are talking about. We don't have any business to talk bad about Nigeria. But we want freedom because enough is enough. So my people now. Is your choice to stand for your freedom, to stand for your future, to stand for your own security in your own land. We don't need European people to come in our land and tell us how we have to live or what we have to do. No. We need to come all together as Yoruba and start to build our own nation. That's all. We don't need nobody to cut what to say you can do it you cannot do it you can do it is your own land you have the right to do that nobody can come to you to say no or oh, we have to fear police nigeria police because if you do something that buari don't want they come and killing you is that your right is that is not your right my people it's time to take what belongs to us, what belongs to our people. <laughs> what belongs to us is our land. Because enough is enough. We are tired to live where fear is everywhere. Fear everywhere. People cannot talk. If you speak out, they will come and kill you. 
If you stand for Yoruba nation, they will come and kill you. If they know you, they know your name. They will come to your home. They come and destroy your home. They call. They 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 try to kill you. What what they have done with our uh, our brother uh, Sahid and every others? They try to kill them because they don't want Yoruba nation to stand. And that is a country that work. No, let me understand. A country that give you the right to and to decide for you and for your people and for your family. My people, did you understand me? So now everything is in our hand. Everything is in our hand. Whatever we want to do it, we need to do it now, my people. We need to do it now, my people. Because imagine, these people they want that Nigeria become an is um uh, how they say um. They want that uh, we become an uh, Islamic country. Can you imagine? Yoruba land is the land of freedom. Yoruba land is the land of human rights. You choose whatever you want to be. But no, today they want to change that reality in our land. A country that you can't speak your mind is that a country? Is the work of the Tif Tifnubu and his Fulani's master? The number I know, uh, <laughs> all of them, eh? all of them, they are already defeat. Is this that they don't understand? Don't become somebody in your rubber land, but they don't know. That without God, they are nobody. My people, our history starts with Eledumare. And when Eledumare decides for Yoruba people, nobody can stand it against us. Did you understand me? Or you believe or you don't believe, the reality is that when Olua Eledumare, Olodumare, how you want to call him? When he decides for his people, nobody can do nothing. We stand firm in Yoruba nation because we know that thou, that one is the promise of God. We know that there is the day that we declare official that we are Yoruba nation. And nobody can change that one. No one can change that one, my people. Because we are in the right side. But Nigeria government. My people now the video now on a new watch for this. On a see what you for inside the video. All right, my people, I would like to end the video for you. Make let me know what you on a thing for the comment section. And if you never subscribe, make on a subscribe so that you no go miss any latest gist way I upload. And I'll be back to you next time. Bye guys, guys, my next video. Bye guys.